Welcome back to Hello guys, welcome back to the Paper Whisper. Today, I'll be showing you, as promised, an origami cactus. You might be wondering why. And I do not have a model to show you because I did not come prepared for this, but we just hit 50 subscribers. Crazy, right? It's insane. I had never thought this channel would come so far, so thank you guys so much for helping me with this. In return, I'll show you one of the most complicated models I've designed. Not too complicated, but it's a bit tricky. And it's the, probably the coolest one. So, should we get started? Yes. This is going to be a lot of fun. So, you're going to fold in half, or should I say make a 64 by 64 grid. I'll be using a 10 inch or so sheet of taunt paper from OrigamiTalk.com. I got a sample pack. And you're basically going to make a simple grid. and 32 will do as well, but the more of a grid you make, the more spikes there will be. I'll explain in a sec. Now, this is completely my version, and it may seem similar to Robert J. Lang's cactus from what it looks like in the end, but this will take, this is a lot easier. Yeah, it looks, I honestly think it looks a lot cooler, no offense, Robert J. Lang, but it works very, very hard on designing this, and I made special for this tutorial, for this special subscriber edition. We are halfway to 100 subscribers. Let's try to hit that by the end of 2022. We got this. Grid. I'll show that in a later video. But if you think and if you um and if you like my videos and you like me to if you want me to talk less or you want my videos like the Empress Bird or whatever it was called no not the Empress Bird um the Bird Woman tutorial like where I talked with nothing at all or all we all tried to feel free to tell me down in the comments and tell me what you think I'm happy to hear your feedback or any more suggestions feel free to tell me anytime. And if you don't think my videos are like, good enough for the model suggestions, assuming you suggest one, just tell me. I'm happy to hear your feedback in any way. As long as it's not negative and swearing or unkind, I'm happy to listen. So, now that we've finished our grid, what we're going to do is we're going to fold, we're going to do some math, actually. Yay, math. So, I'm going to grab the spare sheet of paper and the pen, because why not? Not I know, I mean, people like pencils for math, but basically, we're at each, but each part, particle of the cactus, it's more than one spike, but each particle of the cactus takes, it's kind of a tessellation, it's hard to explain, it takes, uh, six, six by six grid squares, and obviously it's a square, so we're gonna, a square grid, so it's gonna be the same in each direction, so, we are got to figure out how much we're gonna leave on the ends, so, what we're gonna do, we're, we're going to take 32, our grid size, and divide by 6, and our remainder ends up being 2. When you, divi when you divide 2 by 2, because you have two sides, it's not a 1D paper, this makes sense, um, on each direction, then you would get something called 1. Just kidding, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so, what you're going to do, let's go back to the tutorial, and we're, we're going to keep do something... I can't, don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a reverse plate. I don't know. I'll show you in a sec. Let's figure out how to get this pen back in order. There we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold. You're going to take the third crease from the edge. You may turn it into a mountain fold if it isn't already. Whatever method you made of a grid. It should be a mountain fold now. And bring it towards you with on the next crease with a valley fold. 
And then, you're going to count one, two lines away. Turn that into a mountain photo if it isn't already. If it isn't already. And repeat, except going the other direction. We are going to do this, if I did that correctly, five times. No. I can't say enough that I never thought this channel would come this far. So thank you guys so much. Wherever, wherever you live, wherever, whatever you, whatever you, um, whatever your level is in origami, thank you guys so much for supporting me through this rough pandemic, right? Okay, so, now, we're gonna do the next, now we're gonna go away from me, or away really from me, whatever, you, whatever you're, whatever you're calling or not, depends, you know, basically keep them a pattern of twos. I said the third one would be is we have to have the one leaving at the end, lit hanging, one of them hanging at the end. Now I will tell you, this is going to be a bit of a longer tutorial. <laughs> it might take a while, I don't know, because this is a cactus, it's a tessellation, most tessellations take a whole long time. So, I'll try my best to shorten the video as best as I can, but it might not be perfect. So, make sure you plan, figure out your schedule if you're watching, if you in intend to, keep, to follow along. Now, one thing about origami, I believe, is that if you try your best, that's what matters. If, if Even if you fail or don't make it the right way, what matters is that you tried hard and made sure that you wanted, that you didn't give up. And even if you did, you did, it, you did your best, right? That's a message I hope you're putting in my new videos. I think we have one left, right? Yes, we do. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you did five of them and you did it. I think you did it. I think I did a good job. My measurements were a bit off, but it's not a big deal. So now we're going to repeat in the other direction. So take the third one from the edge, basically rotate 180 degrees. And take the one, the other one, um, the third one from the edge, and we're basically going to repeat the same thing in this direction. This is going to be a very small spike cactus. I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure what there's a word for that, honestly. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be a very weird looking cactus. Gonna have very few spikes. Gonna be blue. I don't know what I'm making. <laughs> oh well. Well, we tried.
Chad, this paper mostly available to me, available to me. I want to make a video as fast as possible. I mean, of course, I didn't want to rush it, but at the same time, I didn't feel like I double tissue because I suck at that, and I would take a while, and it would take a while. So, um, I want to address it as soon as I could. You know, I already designed the model a long time ago, so I, I didn't have much to do. You know, I already announced the Furigami or some you know, some other video. I can't remember which one it was that when it hit 50 or 100 subscribers, which this is obviously 50, I would teach my origami cactus. So yeah, this is it. That's it now. I'd recommend wet folding with this paper. I don't know what I'm doing. Again, I spray all the way downstairs. I don't feel like using it, grabbing it right now, honestly. But yeah, I find it. I find origami a lot of fun. How about you guys? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. direction we're actually gonna leave one at the end a bit at the end i'll explain why when we're done if you have like a five or so you don't need too many so we're gonna put one on each of the crimps on the top so not on the bottom those are held in place automatically but the ones on top so one doesn't matter which side just one on a side or so i don't know one side at per crimp thing i don't know what to call them anymore <laughs> sorry going to carefully pull out each and every one of these. I'll explain. So let me zoom in actually. So we're basically going to carefully bring out each, each layer and then we're going to bring it up on top. Sorry about the noise. I know it's bothersome. similar to the poppet, isn't it? Right? Yeah? Anyone? I guess not. Maybe. Who knows? Wait, I'm recording myself, right? <laughs> oh well. Now, what we're gonna do is to squash it, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom even more, actually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna basically 
put, you see how there's uh, two ends? We're going to put one to one side and one to the other, kind of making some like half of a square base. Kind of. I'll show, I'll show it when I'm done. So, yeah. One sec. like this. See how it makes like kind of similar to a square base? That's exactly what we're looking for when we squash it. And we're going to make something, sorry, we're going to make a, a, a petal hold on that little square base thingy that we squashed. Or put me to eat flat and whatever you want to call it. And you want to leave them sticking up. That's the most important part. Don't flatten them back down. And then all you have to do is is put it. Uh, you're basically going to put a reverse fold in between each corner of the square. And pinch this in the corners as the reverse fold flatten. You're going to make it spikes the cactus. All together, kind of compacting the folds all into one spike. Thorn, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they're called, honestly. I'm not, a, I'm not huge on plants and biology, biology of plants. I biology of plants. I'm not perfect. Who would have guessed? Okay, so, um, I'm kidding about that. Don't worry. Okay, so we have this. Now we're gonna repeat all the way around here. And then, once you're done with that, this is basically a briefer tutorial. You know, I won't really want to, you know what, no, no, never mind. I'm going to just keep going. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. All, what is the math? 20 of them? Yeah, I guess so. This is going to be a cool while. <laughs> That's going to be all worth it to spend time with you guys, you know? on each side. Interestingly. Okay, so now I need another few petal bolts. They don't, those ones don't always be perfect. In fact, it's actually better if they're not perfect. These are going to look more realistic. It's going to look more realistic if you don't make like that old. It's going to look more natural, you know? And then make the reverse fold in between, pinching them together. Zoom out again, so it can look like this for each 
molecule spikes. You do the math. It takes four spikes per molecule. And let's say you did 32 by 32 grid, that's going to be 20 molecules. You leave one piece at the end for the, well, I guess we'll have to find, we'll wait till the end to find out what, it, what that's going to be for, I guess. Maybe you watch all of Now we'll warn you, it's going to be pretty fine loader if you use a paper my size and use the same amount of grid squares. So if you don't feel like being too fine loader, probably should have said this in the beginning, I'm sorry. But if you don't feel like you are going to find loader skills, or it, it, well, first of all, if you don't feel, if you, or if you're a beginner or origami and you are just interested in this model, use a huge sheet of paper if you want. Like, that may not huge, but at least 20 by 20 inches. This is like 10 by 10. I'm making it small for tutorial purposes to make it a bit more realistic looking, but I'd highly recommend you need to small folds to use a bigger sheet of paper or this type of fold. You know? Cool. not perfect, but it's what I worked hard on, you know?
sure if we get the point by now. But I'm going to finish this one up and then I'll show you the basics of it. And I think you can finish the rest on your own, honestly. This will be soon the end of the tutorial because I don't want to bore you guys. And this probably will take forever. <laughs> Literally. This is, I'm one fifth of the way to, oh no, one fourth, one quarter of the way done. I'm 25 minutes and you're going to take like a two hour video or something. I'm not going to, I don't have time all day, honestly. It's like 4 o'clock p.m. or so. It's 4 30, 4 30. 3 p.m. I do not have any double dinner time, which is at like 6.15 or so. You know what I mean. I may have done my math wrong, but you get the point, hopefully. The point is, I don't want this video to take forever and I don't want to make you guys go crazy because you're bored and I want to, you know, you get the point. So, all the yada yada will be over soon. Most boring stuff, but yeah, I find this model pretty fun. And if you and if you have the patience, it's all it's it's pretty cool looking at the end. And if you've seen the thumbnail, you'll know what it looks like. I think, hopefully. <laughs> Now, when you're done, this is going to be one, one up cat, one up cactus. So it's not going to have any branches on or something. But basically, what I'll show you. I'm going to take these off. What, what happens is when you're done with all of them, you're going to fold this up. You're basically going to fold the, the the rest of the X paper, excess paper, in half, or at least as far as it can go. And then you're going to basically twist it around. So, you're being skin twisted around. Just here. So, you're basically, it's hard to explain, but basically, you're gonna basically circle it, uh, circle it around and tuck it in on itself. Maybe I'll undo another one actually. Just do three for now. It's gonna be plenty of spice, right? And then once you twist it around, you'll make the pot that is growing in in as like a house cactus or something. You get the point. Is there a way to possibly be dividing it and folding it and then circling it, circling it around or rounding it out? You get the point. Either way, it should be a fun one. That's what wants to work with me. If yours doesn't want to work with you either, you can simply just tuck it in. And then once you're done with the spikes, one sec, I know I'm off camera, but I'm just trying to show it correctly how it looks in the, how it look in the end. And you're going to put a clip on, clip on if you want. I prefer to because it doesn't want to stay, does it? It's going to look something like this in the end with all the spikes here. And then all you have to do is once it wants to connect, what you're going to do is you're going to basically fold in, we're going to tuck in 
we're going to tuck in the circular talk. Circular talk. Tuck in, please. Which hopefully, we'll lock it in place. If not, it's not a big deal. Just stay, it will stay the way it is. And this is what it looks like from the front. In the back, you probably don't want to see. It looks pretty ugly in the back, actually. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. And we just finished the spikes. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you soon. Um, thank you again for 50 subscribers. I can't thank you enough, and I'll see you soon. Bye.